Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 013. On my website, you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed it, you're welcome. I hope it made you laugh. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful and maybe funny. I don't know. So welcome to OSINT exercise 013, task briefing. The image below is a screenshot of my Twitter bio. 3. Locate the moon phase. You can click here to open the image on a new window. You can open. Here you go. It's a bit bigger. Or you can click here to be directed to my Twitter account. So here's my Twitter account. I am logged off. So this is what you see. So let's go back again. I have marked this exercise level as beginners, perhaps medium. And for experts, I would say easy. It might take you a few minutes, but I don't think it'll take you that long. All right. So this exercise is a bit more cryptic than my usual ones, but hopefully not too much as I left many hints around. As I do not know what path people would take because it depends on what caught your eye first, I'll point out all the hints one by one in case you missed a few. Once we have collected all the hints, it will hopefully all make a lot of sense. First of all, let's check out the question. You may notice that it's not a question, which is quite unusual. I tend to ask questions on my exercises and this is just a request, it's not a question. It says, locate the moon face. The word locate is a hint. There's a location somewhere. You may also notice the number three instead of an A, which is the usual one. This is not a mistake. I do not make mistakes. Now let's look at the screenshot that we have here. We have a lot of information. You have my name, you have my user, you have my flag, you have what I do, where I do, and what kind of things I'm into. And you have my YouTube, you have the location, you have the website, and you have when I joined Twitter. All this information makes sense. It all looks normal apart from one, the location. The location is quite unusual. In case you are wondering if I changed this location just for this exercise, I did not. It has been on my bio for at least a year. <laughs> I'm playing the long game here, people. <laughs> so this location is another hint. So what we have so far, we have the word locate, we have a location and we have the number three and we have three words. This is all coming together, hopefully. <laughs> now I left another hint. So if you do right click on this page, you click inspect, you'll see the information behind the page and you can see here the image, you have the link to the image and you have the alt text and the alt text has the same format as you've seen in my location. So this is OSINT exercise 013 is the picture. That's usually how I name them, but I don't often name them with the three slashes and the dot in between. So this is following the same format as you have seen here. So again, it's pointing you into this location. Please pay attention to this location. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do here. So let's click the F12 to go back again. And also if you click this one, so you have the file here. Remember you open, you click here, you open the image. And again, it has osint.exercise.013-3. So this number three is here again. So that's it. That's the hint. You don't have that many, but hopefully they all point in the same direction. And by now you're like, okay, I know what I need to do. I need to look at this location. I know I should be looking for something that has the three slashes. We have three words because you have the number three pointed at you in all directions and you need to locate this moon phase. <laughs> So now there's a chance you already know what this stands for, especially if you're in the UK, because this has been all over the media. So even if you had absolutely no idea what this is about, you can still Google it. So let's try to Google what this is all about. It does not need to be this exact words, because as we've seen it here, when we inspect this, there's three different words. In fact, the third one is not even a word, it's just a number. So what we're looking for is the pattern. We need to find this pattern. So let's Google it. So we're going to search for what we know. We know it's the three words and we know slash slash slash. And this is what we get is a website that says what three words, the simplest way to talk about location. So again, we went back to the location. Remember how the question that was not a question, it was a statement that says locate the moon phase. It says the word locate specifically. The three words were placed on the location section of my Twitter bio. So we're on the right track. This is what we need to click. So we're going to click here and this is a website. Yep. Cookies, whatever.
In case you've never heard about this website or this three word concept, basically is a geocoding system in which every single surface of the planet is divided in these grids that are three meter per three meter and they all have a three word combination. So when you change these three words, you'll be given another location. So at this point, we're this Magdalene Bridge somewhere near Oxford and you can find it by putting these three words. So let's go back again to my bio and see which are the three words that we need to go for. We can click the big one here and it says regard diggers edges. So that's what we're going to put. We're going to put these three words here. So we're going to put regard diggers edges and that is it. And then it's going to give us some results. So obviously the first result is the one we want. The other one is slightly different and the other one is also slightly different. And the first one is near Sofia, Bulgaria's capital. And if you thought, ah, very smart, Sofia, the capital, because your name's Sofia. Oh, very sweet child. No, no, when I go for joke, I really, I really go for it. But let's not detract from our mission, which is to locate the moon face. Okay, so this is it. We have a location, so let me just click that and we have a location, we're going to click our pegman and there is street view, that is what we want. Let's check out the street view. So let's see if we can locate this moon. So right, you're expecting a moon at the top, but it's cloudy, it's daytime, you're not going to find the moon, so where the hell is the moon? I mean, there's no moon here, right? What, what are you talking about, Sophia? Where is the moon? <laughs> there's the moon. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the moon. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, that's the moon. Here you go. That's the full moon. We have located the moon. You're welcome. So if you have read my tweet announcing this exercise, and I said that it was slightly not suitable for work, and you were expecting something juicy, I am very sorry to disappoint. This is what you get. This is a grown man's ass. I'm not sure if it's hairy or not. I honestly tried to find out if it's hairy, but there's not enough pixels to find out. And that was probably a bit creepy of me to even do that. But you're welcome. That's the answer to um, OSINT exercise 013. That was a really stupid joke. I've had it on my bio for about a year and I was really, really annoyed that no one is getting it. So here you go. I made you do it. I made you look at the grown man's ass. I hope you don't hate me. <laughs> And um, that's it. So let's go back. Yeah, let's answer. So let me take this off again. So here we go. Three, locate the moon face. Bam. That's the moon face. That's the full moon. You're welcome. Have a great day.